Hey guys, this is Varun Anandar and welcome to Get Curried. Today, let's make a classic Kerala style fish curry, Min Moili. Min Moili or fish curry, as they say, is Portuguese influence on Kerala cuisine. Well, for Min Moili, for this curry, I'm going to use pump fret as the fish. We need to basic marinate it with some coconut oil. This is extra virgin coconut oil which has nice good flavor. To this I'm adding in just a little bit of turmeric. This is followed by some lemon juice. Just make sure you collect all the seeds. With this, some pepper. This curry is a very mildly spiced recipe. We're also going to use in slit green chilies. But that is completely as per choice. To this, salt as per taste. And this time it's only as to the taste of the fish. Let's give this a good mix. Well, classically, you could use a curry mean, you could use a surmai. You can use any fish which has the flesh nice and firm. This needs to be kept aside for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes. In the interim, let's start cutting onions, tomatoes, chilies, ginger and garlic. Let's first begin with cutting a red onion and this time into slices. Let's move on to slicing a tomato need to cut these into thick slices because we do not want the tomatoes to turn mushy. Next, some ginger juliennes. Also, let's slice two cloves of garlic. And finally, nice and spicy green chilies, which I'm going to cut into long slits. Let's move on to making the fish curry. For this, I'm heating a pan. Well, in traditional homes in Kerala, this curry is specifically made in a black colored vessel, which is an earthenware. Well, on that note, the pan has heated up. Let's add in some coconut oil and allow this to heat up as well. The coconut oil has heated up. The first ingredient that goes in is actually an optional ingredient and that is mustard seeds. Well, I know some Keralaite friends of mine who use mustard, some who do not. So this one is a personal choice. Once these splutter, I'll add in curry leaves absolutely essential, absolutely necessary. Julienne's of ginger, slit chilies, and sliced garlic. Give it a quick few stirs. And while this is still cooking, let's add in sliced onions. Let's saute these onions on moderate flame. We need to turn them nice and a little softer than they are currently now. To this, I'll add in some salt. And this is only to fasten the onion cooking process. The onions have turned translucent. Let's add in turmeric. Let's give this a quick stir. For this curry, I've extracted coconut milk in two forms, a thin coconut milk and a thick coconut milk. So first, let's add in the thin coconut milk. The thin version of coconut milk is generally the second and the third extract. Let's give this a stir and allow the onions to become nice and softer this time. At this time, we need to taste the curry for salt and add in some more if required. Let's give this a stir and add in the marinated pieces of fish. Well, I know a lot of my friends who actually even fry this a little before adding it into the curry at this time. While frying, what you need to do is just before adding in the onions, while we began making the curry, you can just lightly fry this and keep it aside. Well, this one is the poaching technique. With this, I'm also going to add in the sliced tomatoes. Give it a stir without breaking the pieces of fish as lightly as we can. And we need to cook this till the fish is well done. Now this fish, since it's pump frit, it takes somewhere around seven to eight minutes to get perfectly cooked. The pump frit is perfectly cooked. Final two ingredients. The first one is thick coconut milk. And along with that, a tablespoon of lemon juice. Turn the flame off. And lastly, let's give this entire thing a swirl. And do not mix this with a spoon because you may end up breaking the pieces of fish. With this, your traditional home style Kerala fish moili is ready to be savoured with a bowl of steamed rice. On that note, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get curried.